That's it, huh? I might as well destroy it while I can. My, 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 my ship! Oh, blast it! What in the world is going on? Hey there! Uh, Vegeta, what have you done? I don't recall telling you to destroy my ship! So that fat bastard with the ugly mug is Majin Buu, huh? You... You killed Gohan, didn't you? <gasps> Gohan! Ugly mug? What's that? It means he thinks you have a strange face. <laughs> now Boo angry! I'm not going to hell on my own. I'm taking you all with me! <laughs> I must say, this one here really hit me hard when I first saw the TV show. Y'all know I'm a huge Vegeta fan, and this is one of his defining, like, most uh, heartfelt moments. It was like one, I know as a fan, and I know I, I met a lot of other Vegeta fans who feel the same as me, where we would love to see Vegeta beat the main uh, villain. But in this experience here, and in the one with Frieza, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, we really felt for him. Oh, wait! I was saying it wouldn't let me teleport behind him. But we really felt for him. When uh, Frieza embarrassed him and damaged him and he was crying to Goku. Like, you felt that before he died. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh! And here, when he sacrificed himself for his family and fighting for someone else besides himself, you felt for that. I mean, like I said, we're used to Vegeta losing because, let's be real, he lost to Zarbon, he lost to Frieza, he lost to Android 18, Cell, Majin Buu, etc. But I believe it's this battle here and the battle against Frieza, we actually really felt for him. It was like, man, like, that, bro, that man was crying when Frieza defeated him. Uh, wait, wait, wait. And he was talking to Goku. Here, it was like, wow, he actually was feeling for somebody else besides himself. Asking Trunks to hold him. Oh, thank God. I didn't know if I blocked it in time. Oh, wait. Oh, I got... Okay, did it work? Oh, just... Oh, I, I th oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow. A lot was happening. Okay, wait. Do, did I lose? It's not letting me break out, so... Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you saw it coming too. Like when you saw this battle Vegeta was having against Boo, you was like, okay, Vegeta beating Boo is a dream come true because he'll defeat the main villain. But in the back of our minds, like, nah, he's not making it out of this alive. Hopefully, in their cutscene, oh, whoa, hopefully, in their cutscene in this game, they do it right. Because I will admit, some of the cutscenes I like in this game, and some I'm like, nah, they mess it up. Because if you know the TV show, you're expecting a certain type of emotion with some of these cutscenes. And for the most part, they did it right. And some of them, it's like, okay, they missed the mark. Hopefully here, as a Vegeta fan, they do it right. We'll see, though. Alright, let's end this, because I want to see it. Because you know they're going to have a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow, three of them. Man, chill out, boo. I just want to get this over with. Thank you. I want to see the cutscene. Majin Buu needs to be taken care of, but you're the real cause behind all this, <laughs> Bobbity. This... this can't be!
trunks. your mom for me. W what are you talking about, Dad? What do you mean, take good care of Mom? You need to get as far away from here as you can. I'm going to fight Majin Buu on my own. N no way! We're gonna fight too! The three of us can take him down for sure! Trunks, I haven't given you a single hug since the day you were born, have I? Huh? Come here, son. Uh... Dad? Uh... Uh... uh, uh what are you doing, Dad? Cut it out! You're embarrassing me! Take these two as far away from here as you can. I'm counting on you, Piccolo. You're prepared to die, aren't you? Just tell me one thing. If I die, will I be able to see Kakarot in the other world? I'm afraid not. You've killed too many innocent people. When you die, you'll lose your body, and your soul will be carried off to a different world. I see. That's too bad. Now, get out of here. Hurry! No! Boo no! Let you go! Wait! Majin Boo! You're going to have to defeat me first! You got that? Fight me, you brain dead balloon! Uh, you say mean thing, even though you're weak! I finally know how to get rid of you. Once and for all. Hey! What in the world is Vegeta doing? He's gonna get himself killed! For the first time ever. He's finally fighting to protect someone other than himself. Throwing his life away to do it. To make sure you can't put yourself back together, I'm going to blow you into microscopic pieces! Here, take these two. I'm going to see what happened. Uh, okay. I see. 
So if Majin Buu only takes a small amount of damage, his cells can regenerate. To prevent that, Vegeta sacrificed himself to blow Majin Buu into a trillion pieces. We were saved by him, of all people. <laughs> Babidi, you're still alive. Guess I'll have to fix that. Tell me, Majin Buu's fragments! They're... Majin Buu is still alive! What are you waiting for? Do you want me to seal you up again? Yeah! Ooh, good! Well done, Martin Boo! That green fool and those two runts have messed with me for the last time! They will learn to fear the great Bobbity and Majin Boo. Reduce this planet to a desolate hellscape, Majin Boo. Kill as many of the Earthlings as it takes to flush those Cretans out of hiding. He's not dead? Majin Buu's not dead? Uh, no way! Vegeta sacrificed himself for nothing?! It's not safe here on the surface. Get the kids and everyone else to Kami's lookout, right now! These two are the planet's last chance, as slim as it may be. I can sense Majin Buu's energy, but I can't sense Vegeta's anywhere. Uh, don't tell me. Vegeta couldn't have gotten himself killed. Oh no. I don't sense Gohan's energy either. What's going on? Hmm? Piccolo and Krillin are both alive. They aren't stone anymore. Okay. They should know what's going on. I'd bet on that. Where would they be? Akami's lookout, maybe?